Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 53 tarot which is review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current for overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. What's going on in the world today? <laughs> mm, mm, yeah, I, I highly doubt that. Appearances are deceiving, and I, I already question this. I already question it. I already have questions. Like, yeah, I, I call bullshit. And I feel I feel like that's so appropriate for you today, Taurus. Um, immediately, I'm like, yeah, bullshit. Isn't that a game? It's a it's a card game. You, you play with the bicycle cards. Um, I forget how it is. You, you say so, It's kind of like you don't show your cards, right? You say something. Or I forget. You put cards down or something face down. And then someone decides, well, is that bullshit? Is that real? Or is that not real? And if they get it right... I forget how a game goes, but if they lose, I forget how the game goes. I guess we could always find out who wants to play. <laughs> the mage does. Okay, Taurus. Yeah, I absolutely call bullshit on this. Still. Still. Jumping into this, Taurus, and you'll you'll follow. They're showing me that they're not willing to put in any work and effort on something here, some type of endeavor. Yet, at the same time, there is this emotional difficulty that they're not getting past regarding all this. They do want to take action, but look at this. There's the devil reversed. So whatever this toxicity is, the next energy they're showing me is, I'm happy, fulfilled, and content. Being in the toxic devil energy reversed, this is someone who knows that they have addiction and they're choosing consciously, I'm not going to do one damn thing about it. But yet I'm happy and fulfilled. Okay, it's a little bit smug, but we'll go with it. Why is it that you're showing me that you're not in the reins or control of your life then? Why does it feel like emotionally and mentally you're out of balance and out of whack? Why does it feel like financially your investments are kind of just being flushed down the toilet, but yet you say that you're happy and fulfilled and you got some type of financial endeavor that you're working on when you show me you're not? I highly question it. Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. Woohoo. Let's see. But you're happy. Sure. We'll see. Yep. They don't know what to do. They are so besides themselves. They are confused, lost. Um, they don't exactly know what to think. They're besides themselves, that's for sure. But yet they're the ones not willing to put in any work and effort. How does that work? How does that work? You're choosing to kind of cross your arms and not do anything, but you're wondering why nothing is clear to you. It's kind of like I didn't make any money today. Did you go to work? No. Why are you surprised? Yeah, it's, they're not happy. They are not happy. They're trying to come up with something, but... They're not going to let this one go. Oh, jeez, they're not going to... Oh, my goodness. They're not going to emotionally let something go, and they're also not going to walk away from a situation that is financially too difficult or romantically too difficult. Even with the problems and the issues, they, they got a death grip. They got a death grip. They're saying, I'm not going anywhere. Um... I'm going to take action to purposely stay in this situation, even with the problems, even with the emotions, even with the unwillingness to put in work and effort. They're choosing to stay. Like, okay, <laughs> I believe it. I believe it that you'd be fighting yourself over that devil energy. What's that feel like? What does that got to feel like? You're consciously choosing Crosswatcher not to, not to deal with your shit, but yet you're wondering like why you're stressing out. It's like, oh, okay, the heat is on. Hello, the deer of the dragon. The heat is on. Do you feel it yet? 
or does the sun need to turn it up a bit? Yeah, they have absolutely no, they have, they have no issue wanting to stay in this energy and fight for this. So like, absolutely not out of toxicity. This, this is, but they're saying, okay, well, mm -hmm. I'm going to research and study and find out information. And I kind of feel like that goes hand in hand with their happiness. It's almost like they're trying to kind of stretch this on or stretch this out and figure out how to keep something going while they're not doing anything. It's a lot of work to avoid work. And that's why they're stressing out. Like I said, you can't run from yourself. What do you think you're going to do? Travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. But they can't, for some reason, see what's in front of the mirror. I gotta call it. If you're not gonna be willing to do anything, I'm gonna call it. It's gotta be said. It's gotta be said. Yeah, they're real... Nothing's growing, nothing's going anywhere. And they're kind of like, well, I'll do what I can and just kind of <laughs> slowly put forward it's like okay and they're trying to figure it out but there we go there we go they're working on something they're working on something but whatever this is it's an energy of well now that they're <laughs> now at the end of this they're kind of like okay 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 they're kind of telling me like mercy 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 um why did it even have to be this way Pressure forms diamonds. Pressure forms diamonds. Fire purifies gold. That's why. Everything's got to go through a process. And life is going to pressure you and pressure you and pressure you and pressure you until you get up and do something and live life. I like this. Whatever this moment that they are spending, focusing on some sort of financial endeavor and actually starting some sort of work, that's going to lead them to some sort of moment of inspiration. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, Taurus, we do have showing up. Goodness. Leo, Cancer, Capricorn, and Gemini on top of the deck with the lovers. Whew. Goodbye.